Hi friends, Matt Byer here with the State History Museum of Iowa, and today's story time is Aliens Are Coming. Let's get reading. This month's story time book is The Aliens Are Coming by Megan McCarthy. This hilarious book tells the true story of the infamous 1938 War of the World radio broadcast, which falsely reported aliens had landed in the United States. Using actually excerpts from the radio program, this book also shares the importance of radios and households in the 1930s. The original radio production of World of Worlds was meant to sound like real life events going on in real time. It was a real news broadcast, including eyewitness reports and bulletins. Although it made an exciting production, it also misled some people into thinking the fictional story of an alien invasion was real. They missed the introduction at the start of the program. Now, following the broadcast, U.S. Senator Clyde Herring of Iowa, also a former governor of Iowa, proposed federal legislation that required the Federal Communications Commission to review broadcast scripts for frightening content. This proposal failed to gather support and the bill was never introduced. So today's activity is all about the sounds you may hear in a radio production. Now they had different things for sound effects and we're going to recreate those in our own house today, finding things in our own kitchen. The next sound you can make is pretty simple, is the sound of rain. We have a little pie pan here, we have a handful of rice. Sounds like a shower is on its way. Another noise you can make is using some parchment paper, put in a ball, and it sounds like fire. Head to your kitchen and see what other sounds you can make using everything you can find in the cupboards. We'd love to see what sounds you're making in your own everyday objects in your kitchen. So send us videos at museum.education.iowa.gov. The Columbia Broadcasting System and its affiliated stations present Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater on the Air in The War of the Worlds by H.G. Webb. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man. Oh, wait a minute, I see something on top of the cylinder. No, no, it's nothing but a shadow. Now the troops are on the edge of the Wilmoth Farm. 7,000 armed men closing in on an old metal tube. A tub, rather. Well, wait, that wasn't a shadow, it's something moving. Solid metal, kind of a shield-like affair rising up out of the cylinder. Going higher and higher. What? It's, it's standing on legs. It is reported that at 8.50 p.m., a huge flaming object believed to be a meteorite, fell on a farm in the neighborhood of Grover's Mill, New Jersey, 22 miles from Trenton. More state police have arrived. They're drawing up a cordon in front of the pit. About 30 of them. No need to push the crowd back now. They're willing to keep their distance. The captain is conferring with someone. Can't quite see who. Oh, yes, I believe it's Professor Pearson. Yes, it is. Now, now they've parted, and the professor moves around one side. No more defenses. Our army is wiped out. Artillery, Air Force, everything wiped out. This may be the last broadcast. We'll stay here to the end. Orson Welles, ladies and gentlemen, out of character to assure you that the War of the Worlds has no further significance than as the holiday offering it was intended to be. The Mercury Theater's own radio version of dressing up in a sheet and jumping out of a bush and saying boo. Starting now, we couldn't soap all your windows and steal all your garden gates by tomorrow night, so we did the best next thing. We annihilated the world before your very ears and utterly destroyed the CBS. You will be relieved, I hope, to learn that we didn't mean it and that both institutions are still open for business. So goodbye, everybody, and remember, please, for the next day or so, the terrible lesson you learned tonight. That grinning, glowing globular invader of your living room is an inhabitant of the pumpkin patch, and if your doorbell rings and nobody's there, that was no Martian, it's Halloween. <laughs>